Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Charterman, Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Greedy comics, toys are hella sick Hell whackin' it, take a bad hit Take a bad hit, Charterman uh, Subscribe Bombshell, yeah, she's a bombshell, oh yeah. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another McFarlane Toys action figure review on the Fortnite video game Skull Trooper. If you're to pick up this wave, you can do so. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to McFarlane Toys for sending out this product to review for you guys. If you wanna see the latest from McFarlane Toys, check the link in the description below. And what happened to Fortnite? Fortnite isn't cool anymore, I don't know. But anyway, I think these figures look very cool and I'm gonna keep reviewing them so yeah anyway on the side you can see a nice image of the Skull Trooper and then on the back you can see the rest of the wave right over there there's some role play uh, thingies that you can get and then on the side you can see the Skull Trooper again and you get Fortnite Skull Trooper and then not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's the Skull Trooper out of the packaging and I really like how this figure looks man it's a very fun figure to pose around again I like the articulation on these Fortnite figures and I really like the design for this skin I'm a sucker for skulls so what can I say I think it looks pretty awesome. We do get some accessories with this figure, so let's get a closer look at those, and then we'll get a closer look at the Skull Trooper. So here are the accessories that we get with the Skull Trooper. You get your standard issue Fortnite base, and then we get the gun right here, and then we get the smashing sickle thingy right here with the skull, and then we get the backpack, and they all look pretty good. I like the paint detail that we're seeing right here. We get this cross-hatching thing going on. I guess this is kind of like a net on the backpack, and you have the plug right over there, and it goes right into the port of the back of the figure, so that's easy to do. Do. It does have a little bit of gabage right there, but it doesn't bother me too much. You could rotate it. And then you get this piece, which looks really good. I like the paint detail that we're seeing right there. Nice sculpted work on this, too. I really dig that. You can see some cracks right there in the skull and everything. So that's pretty nifty. I'm digging that quite a bit. There is some paint scuffing from the hands, so you can see some black paint has smeared on here. Doesn't really bother me that much, but I could see how that would bother some people. But yeah, I don't know. Just adds a little bit of wear to it. And then you get the gun right here. And these weapons are specific for the left hand and right hand, so you get the trigger finger sticking out for the left hand where the gun goes, and then the right hand you could hold the smashing weapon. And then here's a look at the Fortnite base with the two pegs sticking out. So there are some pretty cool little nuances with this figure that I really dig. It looks Looks like the teeth are silver. I don't know. I like that look though. You can see it's just a mask over a guy's face, so you can see the nose. But I really love how the paint apps came out for this. It looks very clean. I like the hood going over his head. You can even see a seam coming through the middle right over there. So that's pretty awesome. And the rest of the suit looks really good too. And you get these dog tags right over there. You can see he's got a bandana around the neck, and then there's a bandana around the arm, and then there's this whole thing going on on the right side. I like that little attention to detail. You can see the waves. And then not as much going on on the left side of his arm. You could see all the nice white paint over the black. Yeah, you can see it kind of misses a little bit here and there, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. Like how the belts came out over there. You get some stitching going on. So yeah, I'm a fan of these little details that you see throughout on the piece. You know, you get some butt pockets going on. There's the backpack again. I guess without the backpack, you could see some ribs and everything on the back. And then here's looking at the legs. You get these knee pads that are attached to the shin, so it's like a shin guard more than a knee pad. And then you get the straps going around right there, which I think is a really cool touch. You can see the texturing of those straps. So yeah, pretty cool look, man. And then you get this silver dry brushing right here on the top of the shoes, or the boots anyway, and I think that's pretty awesome. I've always been a big fan of silver dry brushing, so it's cool to see that right here on these figures. And you get some cool looking treads right there at the bottom of the feet and peg holes. So I really think the highlight of these Fortnite figures is the articulation. I'm very impressed here. Uh, you can make the Skull Trooper look all the way up, and it'll look down that far. You can shift the head forward and back some. Uh, you get side to side movement, and you get great head pivoting right over there. We have butterfly joints that shift in and out, which I think is great. And then you can move the shoulder all the way up. And this also shifts up and down right here for that butterfly joint. So that's really cool. So you can get the arms moving all the way out and you can move them all the way down. You can rotate 360. You get a bicep swivel, great double jointed elbows. Look at that, man. And then you get these wrist joints that can turn side to side or up and down and you can swivel at the wrist. You get a great diaphragm joint, great diaphragm pivot, crunches forward, crunches back. And then you get some nice waist swiveling right here, waist pivot 
pivoting to get crunching forward that much and back that much at the waist. And then the hips can move outward that far and then it'll kick forward just that much. So I wish we had a little bit more movement there and back a little bit. There's no real thigh cut here, but you do get this thigh pivot right here at the hip. And then you get great double jointed knees and then the ankles move down. You can move them up a little bit. Uh, you get side to side motion and there is ankle pivot and you do get toe articulation. Now to measure out the height of this Skull Trooper figure, you can see that it is standing just a little over seven inches tall. And then here's a Skull Trooper next to the only other Fortnite figure that I've reviewed. We have the Cuddle Team Leader skin. And then here's a Skull Trooper next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, a Misfits fan. Hey, sing it with me. I want your school. Okay, okay, no more singing. Okay, sorry, sorry. So please don't dislike this video if you guys don't like Fortnite, huh? I think these are really cool action figures, so I'd appreciate it if you treat me kindly because I respect cool action figures. And if you did like this video and you do think it's a cool action figure, please hit that like button. Leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. I think this is a very fun dynamic pose that you can get the figure into. I've had a lot of fun with these Fortnite figures because I can pose them around a lot. Now, if McFarlane Toys was making figures like this for a franchise that I was a lot more familiar with, oh man, I would be a lot more stoked. But I still think these are awesome pieces. I'm giving the Skull Trooper a sud rating of it's not so bad. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to know the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at toynewseye.com. And if you want to follow me on the social media, check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Links to everything in the description below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace! <laughs> Hey, we show them Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.